Welcome to a brief overview of configuring users in Open eSign forums. For administrators, under the Access Control item, you will see the Users element. We can click on that and we'll see all users we're allowed to manage within the system. In our case, we've set up a user that we just consider to be a general user. And you can tell this by the fact that they belong only to my company's group. I also have a manager user who is not only in the company group, but is in a special group that we call manager. And then there's my user record, which says I not only belong to the company, but I'm actually an administrator as well. Users can belong to as many groups as you see fit. If I have a user and that user has left the company, I will want to disable the user account and click save to prevent any future logins. If the user has forgotten their password and has asked for a new password, we click the Send Set Password Email button and an email will be sent to that user allowing them to choose a new password. You may also view any emails that have been sent to this user or on behalf of the user through this email link. So in this case you will see this is the email that was sent to that user asking them to choose a new password so that they can log in. Under this administrator user I'm going to show you the view activity log. This gives you a detailed information of all the actions that that user has been performing. Now, we won't go into the details but you'll see for example that I did a password reset for the sample user. It tells me that I've updated the user updated the groups, etc. So all of the information about logins, log offs, and activity of configuration, configuring the system are recorded here for each user. If I have a new user who needs to be added to the system so that they can log in as well, the first thing I do is I find a user that is most like the user that I'm trying to configure. So in my case I would think, is he an administrator, a manager, or a regular user? If he's a regular user, I click on that existing user record that I already have and I click create like. This begins the creation of a brand new user record. So I'm going to update the email address to the new user's email address. I will change their name so that that's reflected in my area. If they're in a different time zone, I can select that. And I confirm that this is in fact the group that they want to be in. Now if they weren't and I didn't or I didn't have an exact match, I could up click into here and say for example, oh no, this user really is a manager user. And so I can put them in the manager group. Alternatively, if I had selected a manager user as my template when I did the create like and discovered, well, he really shouldn't be in the manager group, I can just remove them from the group. And again, I click save to save this new user record. Now at this point, the user can't log in because no password has been set. So after you create any new user, once you want them to begin be able to log in, click the send set password email button so that an email will be sent to that user and then they can choose a password and begin using the system right away. Thank you very much.